Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Today I will be demonstrating how to set up and configure your audio interface to Cakewalk's Music Creator version 7. So we're going to be going through, having a look uh, of what audio interface we have, connected a USB connection to my laptop and then going into setup part of uh, Music Creator 7 and how to set it up so it's all working so we know all of our inputs and the outputs configured as well as tweaking a bit so that we have the lowest latency as possible um, with our audio interface. To demonstrate I will be using my ever so popular Behringer Zenix Q502 um, USB mixer which has one microphone input and two line level inputs that is controlled and it has a headphone output, a main output as well as um, a USB connection to my laptop. So I have my microphone wire which is an XLR connection connected to my microphone input and levels adjusted and then I have my line level connection going to my musical keyboard so I can play something on the keyboard which is right over there so you can record some uh, songs on there I do have this main output wire connected to my uh, to my video camera so anything that the mixer is creating the sound you'll be able to hear it anything like the microphone that I'm using now which is connected and any sound coming from my keyboard as well as from the laptop and I have a headphone connected which is right over there so that I can hear it so what you are hearing right now is exactly what I'm gonna hear on my headphones now before you go ahead and connect your audio interface or mixer USB cable to your laptop you should check the uh, instruction how to download and install the drivers if any and usually with this uh, mixer the uh, Behringer Zenix Q502 you should be able to plug straight in but Behringer do provide a low latency driver that you can download from their website and install that first and follow the instructions on your computer before you connect the cable so once you have the driver installed and uh, all ready to go, we can now plug it to the USB connection, like that. To make sure that Windows drivers are installed correctly, one way to find out, the easy way, is to go into your taskbar at the bottom right hand corner and find your speaker icon, right click on it and then select playback devices and as you can see on the screen I already have Behringer USB audio interface as uh, output device or speakers uh, configured correctly and under recording as you can see we have line in as Behringer USB device um, configured correctly as well so once we are happy with that we can click OK and we are now sure that Windows has recognized those drivers and can actually see the USB mixer connected so let's run Music Creator 7 and uh, play around with its settings. We can just close that for now. And to go into the settings, uh, to make sure that we are selecting the right audio interface, we go into Edit and Preferences. And under Audio Devices, it has already automatically selected the Behringer USB Audio In. And as Apple uh, Driver, as the Behringer USB Audio Out. So we are correct in that sense. We can look at the driver settings. As, in, as you can see, the Behringer is our main timing master um, to play back and record. Um, we have our sampling rate, which is 44.1 uh, kilohertz. 
um, and we have our ASIO panel. Um, so to look at the, some of the latency that I was talking about, we can see at the current setting, a round trip delay or latency is 93.8 millisecond. That's quite a lot. And uh, to find out, we can add a track and uh, test it out. So we need to later on go into ASIO panel and correct those settings to see uh, how low we can go with a millisecond. Now, if you don't know what that means, uh, you'll find out very soon. As you can hear now, my voice is quite straightforward. It's straight. Um, what you're hearing is exactly what in my headphones is on the camera. So there's no delay. Whatever I'm talking to the microphone is exactly what I'm hearing in my headphones and you can hear it. Um, but once I route the microphone to go to the um, uh, to, to Cakewalk Music Creator and then come back to the mixer and back into my headphone, there'll be some delays because of processing power that is required to be able to do that. So let's just add a new project and let's just call it uh, quickly a demo. Okay. So now we have uh, track number one. Um, to find out uh, what inputs are assigned for this track, remember you can assign any input to any of the tracks. So let's uh, click that one to close mix strip and have a look. So as you can see the output over here for my track number one is none. So I'm just going to select Behringer USB audio in stereo signal coming in and it's going out to the master. And this is a master fader and you can see on the master fader it outputs to Behringer uh, USB audio out one. That way all of the tracks usually get directed to the master track and the master track controls all of the main final mix levels that sends it to the mixer so I can hear it on my headphone. So now that we've got all that um, set up so we should be able to hear uh, on my headphones the playback from, from the, the uh, uh, oh here, here we, we go, go. <laughs> uh, so, so the, the sound, sound and, and the echo, echo you are, are hearing, hearing is basically oh, this, this is a bit, bit hard, hard. <laughs> it's, it's whatever, whatever the sound from the, from the microphone going, going to the mixer and, and to the music, music creator seven, seven or the do being, being processed and, and coming back, back to the, the mixer and, and into, into my, my headphones. headphones. So, so usually, usually you won't, won't hear my original, original sound. sound, you'll, you'll be, be hearing, hearing the echo and, and it's very confusing. confusing. Um, so, so to, to minimize, minimize this, this delay, delay um, unfortunately, unfortunately we cannot, cannot get, get rid of because, because of, of the, the mixer quality, quality and, and, and um, the, the driver, driver settings. settings. But, but we, we can, can minimize it. it. So, so we, we go, go into, into the edit, edit and preferences again. Oh, that's better. <laughs> the echo is gone because the, uh, the loopback has gone. We click on the SEO panel. As you can see, it's set to 44 kilohertz and 16 bits. And that's pretty much the resolution of uh, the audio interface we have here, the Xenix one. Um, so we go to SEO and let's select relaxed normal. So this means it will try to put more processing power to process the audio data coming in uh, through the USB and then going back out. So it assumes it will be 49 millisecond out and 12 millisecond in. So it's about 53 or thereabouts or um, 60, 61. So we'll find out. So let's have a look at our round trip. 62.1 is what uh, it's estimated. So let's click OK. And now this will take us back to the feedback and uh, okay. okay so, so now, now it's, it's a little, little bit better it's, it's sort of like a slap back echo but again, again it's still confusing if you're trying to sing to a song um, uh, with, with this echo in there which, which annoys you because you, you cannot, cannot hear yourself all you hear is the echo and it becomes annoying, annoying. So let's, let's try one, one more time and see if we can get any better. Um, so basically, it's about 
um, trying to get as low as possible. But you'll be certain level uh, because if you go any further, your PC uh, won't be able to um, to process all of that information in that short amount of time. Um, so it become really, um, you know, it won't be able to process it. So it won't work. So we got to go back to the next one. So this being processed, it's, it's a little, little bit better. better. As you can see, it's becoming really short. Um, it's, it's now becoming, becoming like a bathroom, um, as if you're in a bathroom, um, in a big bathroom, um, which is it's still, ex now it's pretty much acceptable. But uh, let's try that again. See how far low we can go. So, about 20 milliseconds. It's still probably uh, uh, not as late, um, as, as best as we can, because you really need uh, a latency less than 10 milliseconds, so half of that, to be able to say zero latency. Um, so we'll find out if this PC and this driver will be able to uh, uh, support that. So we click OK, and now, once I enable it again. So now it's more like a chorus uh, or flanger type effect we're getting because the delay between my main one and um, the delay is getting very short. So this is pretty much acceptable. Um, I mean, if you really think about, uh, if I just um, uh, remove uh, the option of hearing my own main voice out um, I'm just getting that uh, so you can so you only be able to hear what's um, oh, uh, what uh, is uh, going out there's a little bit of a delay and now I can actually add some reverb and I can quite you know reasonably or comfortably sing into this because of the now that we have that reverb added uh, into the voice and create some look like an echo to me um, so it's pretty acceptable but let's see how far we can go down um, and if we can make it plug myself back in so that's the um, what I'm doing there at the bottom uh, if you couldn't hear me is the zero latency um, uh, option that I have demonstrated in the previous videos. So if you don't know uh, what it is and what's happening, you can view that video, and that only applies to this um, uh, mixer series of mixers. So if you are using a different audio interface, so you need to play around with your ASIO uh, panel and uh, system performance settings uh, to see how far you can go. So let's try rapid. Now this is going down to um, eight, uh, about 11, probably down to 12 milliseconds. Not sure if this PC will be able to handle it. So we give it a try. Um, probably not. Let's hope. Let's hope you'll be able to handle it. One, two, no. So I'm not getting any signal in. It's not, it just doesn't have enough processing power to handle it. So um, normally you wouldn't be able to hear anything um, coming out. So yeah, it's just sort of trying really hard. So uh, basically that's uh, what you can do. Play around with the um, ASIO system performance. So the fast was the best we could, uh, we could get at this stage with this configuration um, play around with it and to see what you best you can get and, um, and 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 you're set for that so let's click OK and enable that and by the way if I actually remove my zero hardware zero latency out now I can hear quite well I'm more than happy to be able to um, sing into this especially if I add some reverb and some compression. So you can hear now that, you know, my voice is quite um, easy to, to sing to. 
So that's how you set uh, and uh, configure your uh, uh, Cakewalk Music Creator 7 to talk to your uh, to, to your audio interface with minimal latency as possible. Well, I hope this was helpful enough for you and now you know how to connect your audio interface to your laptop and how to configure your Cakewalk Music Creator 7 and with all of the settings, make sure it's all right there and to, to be able to get the best latency as possible from the hardware processing that you have enabled and um, if you have any comments, further comments on this topic, please do write down below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my channel. That way you are always kept up to date with any, with any uh, future videos that uh, I might do on this topic using Music Creator 7, which most likely will be. And um, if you haven't visited my website, you can do that too. It's recordingstudio9.com. And until next time, make sure you make more music and cheerio. Thanks for watching.